What's new in the June 13th build of .OS version 5.1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and Dot OS is also back with another build. The version is still 5.1.1, but the build date is June 13th based on Android 11. This, of course, is the official G apps build, and SE Linux, of course, is set as enforcing. So let us get down to business right away. And Solid Explorer, here it is. Welcome, dear user. Let me skip it and accept everything and be done with it. There it is solid explorer is working so applications which had issues with monet have now been fixed then offline charging has also been fixed next up if you go into settings and then if you go into customization and once you are in customization you can go into aod and lock screen you do have three different options for your screen of animation bam here it is that is how the crt style looks like next up while we are still in customizations let us go into status bar scroll all the way down and herein you do have your traffic indicator as you can see it is working without any issues on the top right of the screen now a suggestion i have for dot os team is that give me the option of hiding my battery because i have default circle dotted and filled i do not have the option of hiding this icon once i have enabled the percentage this icon is just eating up space in the notch so i would just a recommendation from my side next up still in your customizations if you go into buttons if you're using your three button navigation style you have the option of inverting your layout wherein back and the recent buttons would be swapped out next up let us go ahead and play some music because you do have lock screen music visualizer which can be found in settings customization and once you are in settings and customization you can go into system and here in you have miscellaneous section at the bottom you have lock screen music visualizer so let us go ahead play some music which i have on my device and see whether the feature is working or not bam there it is working like a boss with no issues to report another thing was a bug for me because some of you said it was working for you but it wasn't working for me and that i think was power down torch so let us give that a try as well and so it's not working again now i do feel a vibration but it is not working now what i'm trying to say when i say now again and again is that when i first installed this rom it was working and I was super excited, but now it is not working again. So I think that might have something to do with certain devices having certain different flash hardware or something like that. Anyways, developers would be the best judge for that. Next up, if I press and hold on the home screen, go into wallpapers. Yes, I am able to access the wallpapers application and change it as well. Next up, let us check if Hey Google is working or not. So yes, it is working with the screen turned on. Let us turn the screen off. Hey Google, are you awake? No, so yeah, hey Google with the screen turned off is broken and that is an issue which the developer is aware of and I think he does plan to fix it in the next build. Next thing, let us open the Magisk application and check for safety net. So of course, device is not rooted right now and safety net is passing out of the box. Let us go to the Google Play Store as well. Go into settings, Play Protect certification device is certified. This means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. YouTube Media Playback works absolutely fine. Live caption works, picture in picture works. Of course, for picture in picture, you either need to be in a specific country or you need to pay for youtube premium why do i l1 well we had a separate video about that and of course we do need your support so that video along with the tweet is linked in the description of the video in case you want to retweet it and let us hope that our tweets are not falling on deaf ears next up we can go to the google photos application try to edit a picture which i have of my favorite 
football star to see if we have the feature of portrait light or not of course wait for the loading bar to finish and once that is done going to adjust portrait light bam here it is feature is present and do note you need a human object for the feature to work because it won't work if you have a non-human object just like my chicken friend over here in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now no jitters no lags everything seems to be working absolutely fine without any issues recents again everything is smooth and of course i do have the g apps built so i do have pixel launcher select works screenshot works without any issues let us switch between a few applications yep so switching between the applications no issues either access the google feed no jitters no lags everything seems to be working absolutely fine so yeah it is great to see a custom rom stop their rollout because of issues and then come back and fix the issues which they said they have fixed all based on constructive feedback so yes feedback is important and all in all i think for the poco f1 only two bugs are left right the screen of google situation and then the power down torch for specific devices other than that i think everything seems to be working absolutely fine and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you